מרב מיכאלי, possibly the craziest woman alive in Israel today. I think it's one of the most craziest women in politics worldwide. Yes, we apologize to the whole world for allowing this woman to somehow have a political career. Hopefully something will be done about it. She's our supreme uh, transport, uh, transportation uh, minister right now. Wow. She, she turned off, she heavily reduced the AC in trains because uh, of feminism or something. But you know, she's not in the loop. You, you can't say there are women, uh, men and women anymore. Uh, 15 years from now, she will denounce the sexist. Right. Well, uh, she's always dressed for a funeral, just in case. Because and, she uh, wants to send people to the gulags, uh, yeah. it's fitting. Yeah, it really fits her. I mean, she, let's, let's, just have a listen to how crazy she is. This is in uh, Australia, a, we, a well-known program called Q&A, very popular Sp in Australia. Uh, spreading anti-Semitism for us. Uh... Yeah. I, your permission, Virginia. This is not funny. The core family, as we know it, unfortunately is the less safe the least safe place for children this is a classic uh, uh, subverters manipulation want to tear out the family to do some uh, utopia experiment to yeah, put it this mildly is, this, is... this is basically one or one fake uh, statistics why where where a child have any danger at all statistically speaking on home on the way to school and school mm -hmm. Uh, on the way to school, this is not Somalia and this is not South Africa. The, the kids won't be kidnapped or uh, molested in the streets. In schools, we don't have a heavy bully problem. Uh, 50 styles in school, people, gangs with uh, uh, metal rulers with, will uh, abuse children in hallways at the recess. So the only home, only the house left. So uh, statistically, yes, the house is the most dangerous place, but one in a, one in a hundred houses. Uh, she's... This is so this classic is a, uh, this is 101 uh, statistic uh, manipulations. This is Marxism. This is wanting to take your kids. This is what they did in the kibbutz system, in the communes. They would have all the children in a kid's house, children's house, separated from their parents. Communists would love to control the children. Uh, uh, they, 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 that's what it's about. Uh, uh, you, you know uh, another the thing about... Destruction of the nuclear family. By the way, this is on the BLM uh, manifesto. Destruction of the, the nuclear family. Because they somehow, removed it down. It's a racist thing as well, the nuclear family. They removed it in BLM, and if you mention it again, they will say you are a racist conspiracy theorist. And again, about this statistical manipulation, in the kibbutzim uh, children uh, houses, cabins, that all the children raised together to be raised equally, there were sadly many cases of uh, in-children in rape of the 12-year-old uh, boys raping 12-year-old year, year old girls in those cabins at night. And no one will ever uh, care for it. They could have done a gang rape on your young 12-year-old uh, girl throughout their entire uh, puberty for something like five years straight. And she, she talks about danger for children. What about the danger for children in those uh, cabin, uh, I think cabin houses? I think she's the most dangerous person in Israel for children. Let her continue. Not Australia, in the Western world and in more traditional um, societies, even more so. Yeah. Uh, the data speaks about every fifth child that goes through some kind of abuse, sexual... Uh, this is again pure uh, NGO lie in Israel of some uh, neo-Marxist uh, uh, subverters. Uh, look, look, I'm not... A, uh, every, every parent who harms his child, is expe expe especially sexual speaking, should have the fullest, fullest extent of the law, and I could make an explosive statement about that, but I'm finishing the point. The 20% is pure uh, uh, lie and projection. Yeah. Uh, re really, one in five per percent of children get raped uh, in their house in Israel throughout their... Uh, throughout their uh, puberty it's they they make up questionnaires have you ever been uh, have you ever felt uh intimidated have you ever felt fearful are you uh, have, you know they come up with all these vague questions and if they answer yes to any of them okay yeah you are in the statistic it's all fakery yeah, yes uh, imagine no. israel uh, in average school uh, classes 30 children six children got raped by their father for example pure lion projection 
completely. Also, uh, Ad- Adria, she doesn't have children ideologically, but want to uh, make the rules and uh, take children for the people who do have them. Yeah. A- and just imagine the level of the, the arrangement. She is the leader of the Labour Party, the collectivist party, who, who doesn't have children by choice. And she, oh, here's another funny fact about her. She refused ideologically to marry. So she, this is basic bitch uh, feminism, not to marry, but be uh, known in public. No, she's more extreme than that. Her spouse, both of them are rich, ultra mega rich. Of, of course, course. She's, she's labor mega rich, uh, new left, uh, modernist, new left labor. So she, one floor above him in a mega rich uh, rent penthouse building. And ev- every time he says, well, how about you come to my the, the house for dinner? <laughs> She says, how about you go to my apartment for dinner? Because she won't even share a house with a man, ideologically. Yes. But she's also sharing. She's a... But she's collectivist. Everyone <laughs> yes. should share together. You can even against... share a house. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm against the atomized individualism. Neoliberalism is, a, is a evil and disgusting. Look how she lives her life. Yeah. Woman in black. And the... She's a Sith apprentice for those who watch Star Wars. Your family is the place which exactly those parental rights that you are talking about and the custody, this total custody that we have in this structure of marriage, which still gives men domination, complete domination over... What domination? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> you had able what, word from such shock. If, if you marry a man, he will just be like, just doing everything you say, he'll be like completely scared for his life. Well, you'll be dominating. <laughs> Their children and two... No, look, uh, she has a far deeper hidden point with that matter. She either wants uh, to... I, I, her end point in her utopia is to say, I, as uh, children, that because you are living with your parents, you are being, uh, you are being either uh, abused or either get unfair uh, treatment. So for the sake of the children, freedom to explore his yes. sexuality in her, in her wood cabin in the kibbutz, we will uh, conf- confiscate all children to live in a woods cabin in the kibbutz and get brainwashed by her new... Yeah, she wants to rescue Marxism. them. She wants to rescue them from the patriarchy, you know, the great dick and balls in the sky. Often over the women and who are called, called wives. Quote, unquote. Everyone is an atomized individual in my, so- in my socialist party is a part of the really the, the ongoing hurt in children. So I do want to put the discussion on parental rights in perspective and in, the, and in context and the context of what are the values of this core family that you are protecting so much. I, I, want, I want, it, also want to put her in a context, in a context of a padded room where no one can hear her and we're safe. <laughs> Uh, and again, she she just pulled it this. Uh, uh, she didn't say it explicitly. This nonsense. Uh, family values are deeply valued, uh, extremely by uh, Protestant Christians. Even almost all successful civil civilization throughout history uh, adhere to it in some level. But if the Protestant Christians they talk to the most extreme, it must be white supremacy. So it's it just, if you are a force a family structure in the most mild way, you are basically a Nazi. So I have the right to use the state to take you to a gulag to re-educate it. This is the the how they make this logical argument. This is what she says. It's one of the things we have to uh, take apart. You know, is the nuclear family is this uh, men in control of the children, the poor children. Let me save the children from the evil man. That's damn man. The capitalist, capitalist white cisgender hetero na 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 is for the that and that patriarchy. So everyone could be eto- atomized individual in this uh, Wally apartment with the robot who will give him food for free as, as a socialist party. Once again, this uh, new, new woke left have some deranged uh, paradox between extreme uh, individualism and extreme collectivism. We told it in a previous stream, this anecdote. Yeah. One of the things we need to start uh, breaking apart. Mm. I believe that instead of marriage, the state should offer two kinds of default agreements. One is custody over children. A child can have more than two parents. 
more than two parents. How yeah. about a hippie commune of uh, 120 parents who are having each uh, every night relations openly in their farm uh, outside so all the children could see? And this 120 married 120 individuals will adopt uh, 300 children and uh, and the 300 children will, will have a, a, a empty bond to have a, a mass relations as well and they all uh, will hear imagine and will show uh, documentaries about herbert marcuse as well we they, are on they, to you michaeli they they she wants to argue with the mummy bear that baby bear is not her baby bear and mummy bear is going to be very mad Mirav, she's going to be very mad they don't have necessarily to be his biological parents or Oh, you, did you know about uh, the famous uh, pedophile adoption experiment in West Germany? Yes. Uh, you, you should look it up. Uh, uh, no, yeah, I know. It's horrendous. Uh, yeah, I saw the um, Lotus Eaters video about it. Again, those uh, Germans. Yeah, they, took, Germans. They, they, they just did experiments on children, basically. Let's not talk about it now because it's a long story. Her biological parents, the person who uh, takes responsibility for the child and someone must take responsibility someone anyone can anyone take responsibility for a child hey 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 she's uh, she, hey, hey she's uh, out of the walk loop children should the... sh she's not in the wo uh, loop she's uh, she's an enlightenment children should have uh, the right to vote the, the right to drive the right to leave the house the right to travel abroad even at 12 years old for a holiday and in some extreme cases to sell their some for relations and uh, 13 year old and up with a uk progressive so to speak ability for the child needs to be obligated for certain criteria that the state should actually decide be his, to be her friend or to be some neo-marxist this is those uh, criteria she's talking about yes and what does it mean that you are responsible for the child and i believe of course it has to consume a lot of freedom for the child to be who who she wants to give you a license to have children and you will be assigned children that the committee decided you, that you need to have and only also, people uh, that uh, agree with her will have those children you, yeah i already told you about uh, the, the marriage uh, 120 year old uh, married uh, uh, group that will yeah. adopt 300 children to yeah, but uh, will only, a bomb but it will in the be, negative but you would need a license and the license would be issued only to people who are close to her way of thinking can anyone who doesn't think like her is uh, some kind of phobe and is dangerous and is uh, not going to have children because he's going to destroy the children with the you know and so on he is and you want the is, state deciding this no and what do you mean the state it's us coming together no, she, no this this lady this in yellow the looks, looks we scary. are the bog she, she, <laughs> she just looks scared she, in a democracy, which we'll, we'll discuss, I suppose, later, what it means in a democracy. What it means. What it, a democracy means is that, that crazy... we all box to do uh, Herbert Marcuse social justice. Yeah. Democracy. Also, Herbert Marcuse once said that uh, you left communism is the only true democracy and everything else is uh, fascism or proto fascism. Mm. It's crazy. She's, very, she's dangerous. She's heavily dangerous. Yeah. We all together decide what it means to be a good parent the other thing is you don't know what a good parent is you're like the worst parent in the world and the worst person to ask about it you are very dangerous to children miss michaeli she the other she uh, i i bet she's the kind of a woman in her uh, mega rich rent penthouse building if some uh, celebrity single mother just uh, uh, go with the elevator with a pacifier baby in her arms. She's the one who anonymously called the building lobby to say we should uh, ban these practices mm -hmm. just to baby who isn't even crying. But she will take your children to her uh, woke village. Yeah. Kind of agreement that should be made by the uh, a default option by the. Look, uh, we, we think she's a demon from a horror movie, the people in the audience. Yeah. She's the one who spread anti-Semitism throughout the world with this pitch. Yeah. All, all these old uh, right individuals uh, going on these clips like sharks. Again, I'm not excusing anyone. If I will beat up a Jew, it's still a 100% one, uh, criminal responsibility. But she's spreading anti-Semitism. Who, who voted for this person? What is going on? By the state, uh, shared household. Those components, those... Um, 
major components of marriage that have to do with social, economical, financial aspects that we do not discuss when we get married. You know when we discuss them? When we divorce. Then it becomes a war. Uh, yes, uh, when we divorce, so let's uh, make the family our uh, state uh, children raising. Uh, it becomes hostility. a war because you got the state involved in it. You made it into a war. You, because the people like you political. made it into a war because you turned it into politics. When you are married, you enter a partnership. Lots of people have business partnership. Uh, and the idea is not to have a fight and a war at the end, is to develop the partnership. But she's looking at all this stuff in a very materialistic way. Struggle. She's, she's just a very dangerous person. Again, apologies for the, to the world for producing this person. Uh, by the way, she comes from a family that is, has a very questionable history. Supposedly, supposedly, supposedly. Yeah, very questionable history that uh, if you want to look into it, uh, you'll, look see, her, you'll see. Look for her uh, grandfather. You'll, in see, the... you'll see where she's uh, coming from. Uh, uh, supposedly, supposedly, supposedly. Yeah. May, 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 yes. her grandfather snatched children as well, and she wants to snatch uh, children now. Yeah. Supposedly, so, supposedly, supposedly. So just to improve our mood, let's see Zizek again, and goodbye, everyone. And please uh, share, like, subscribe. Uh, we appreciate it, because I don't think YouTube is promoting us very well. And so. join our uh, Discord post stream hangout. Yes. Void, no identity. Med I hate life. <laughs> <laughs>